Thank you for watching, and remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. Being in New York, not this bad, but uh... Yeah, that's a pretty wild video. Uh, that's crazy. I mean, they were driving like there was nothing going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I need to see careful. how they drive when something isn't going on. Right. Like car sprouts <laughs> wings. Probably. I wonder how you would say, turn around and find another way mm -hmm. in Italian. We'll put that in Google's Alex. our friend. Listen, Google go. Translate, we'll find it. In the meantime, we got a lot of active weather to talk about here. Uh, we'll take it from here, guys. Welcome back, everyone. America's Morning Headquarters rolling on until noon. And a lot to track here for us as we head on through this mid part of the week. Of course, dealing with our coastal system here, that's still impacting in the Northeast. We talked about how those winds were going to be really whipping around. Yeah, you got that there. Chris Brewer in there in New England as this storm really batters a portions of the coast. Oh, man, and now even the beautiful place by the sea can't escape this nor'easter's grip. Check Pushing out east. the wind. Thursday, more of these storms to impact us. This is a real front, actually, that we're going to get in Florida. And, you know, this is our first big front of the season, the one that will make a difference, that will knock down our humidity, knock down our temperatures. But to get there, we got to get through thunderstorms. And so timing that out for you here, we have our front slicing east tomorrow. We're going to see it moving right across the Florida panhandle overnight. Night, and then tomorrow morning, you'll have thunderstorms ongoing. Low-level winds will be a bit feisty out there, and that'll be one of the factors that contribute to the risk of severe weather. Now, we have a stronger jet stream, too. That hangs back a little bit compared to our warm sector, right? You think about everything in the warm sector. When everything overlaps, all the ingredients, that it's county, Wednesday. Aldine, Jersey Village, you are in this, and we are tracking this moving to the east at... 40 miles per hour. Now, there's also a new severe thunderstorm warning that, that tells us, is there any rotation? Do we have any pixels showing that there are winds moving away and towards the radar in very close proximity? It's broader, but we do see that right in here. It's well east of Jersey Village now. It is tracking to the east. This area will cross over Interstate Absolutely 40 wild. And Chris, what I'm thinking of is all the people have been dealing with that wind for now since what, like two or three o'clock yesterday afternoon, it really started to ramp up and it's been nonstop. And it's so loud. Yeah. Um, and it's almost like a whistling, I hear. Is that, is that what you're hearing? Yeah, that's what it is. Active time, I, yeah. of course, Jen. And the front's on the move, too. This mm -hmm. is a front that's going to make it through Florida. So this is, um, for you, your first big front of the season. Get ready for it. It will bring all of the, these fronts do, including the risk for severe weather. Here's tomorrow's forecast. There goes the front. Ahead of it, the instability. That's the zone that will watch for the risk of severe storms. And so we do take a look. We watch that warm sector. We look at the other ingredients. And we do have some stronger winds coming in at the jet stream level. Um, Low-level winds, though, too. So low-level winds here are going to be punched right in that's going to be one of the factors coming in from the south or even southwest now here's where the upper level winds are uh, they hang back a little bit so it's not like we have everything all co-located together that's key that's going to cut down maybe on the amount of severe weather that could happen but that said there will be storms that go severe damaging winds and isolated tornado risk we've got a three on the Torcon tomorrow and that includes areas from north carolina right down through florida from wilmington through tampa we've got a zone where thunderstorms will fire up and we could see tornadoes so watching out for that here's a look at the timing overnight storms ongoing panama city uh, going through tallahassee and apalachicola this is nine o'clock in the morning on your thursday birmingham by the way you'll have some storms at this point but things start to get pretty active here in tampa and fort myers and naples we get thunderstorms port charlotte i mean look at our radar for your afternoon here it's very active all across florida central florida especially as we see that line of storms going through about four or five o'clock and alex here once the main front goes through we're not exactly done. We do still have some showers hanging back. We do, we do. Today we also have severe weather that we are tracking too. Storms have been going all night long right here across the southern plains. Here's where the thunderstorms are right now. They have cleared San Antonio and New Braunfels and Austin looking better too. But you can see where that line of storms is tracking right over places like New Ulm. You are under some big thunderstorms out there. And a new tornado watch has been issued. This is in effect until 4 o'clock this afternoon. It does include Houston and Galveston, Lake Charles, um, Alexandria not quite over to Baton Rouge, but we'll be watching storms heading in that direction just beyond that time frame. So here's where we are right now. The line of storms is moving along and that's key. New tornado warning though just issued. And so for the most part along this line, what you watch for is the threat for damaging winds. And then you watch for that potential of little spin ups like we're seeing right here. Again, this is north of the Houston metro area. This part of the line is where the tallest of the thunderstorms are. Storm tops reaching over 40 or 45,000 feet. And those are the ones that you do worry about going severe, tapping into some of those strongest of the winds. We do have uh, a five on our Torcon today. Let's go back into the radar and show you what's happening with this new tornado warning right now as 
it continues to cross to the east. It's moving through spring, the woodlands, tumble, Texas. This goes until 830 local time. There's a lot of population in this. So if you are within this warning, you can see the warned area, while it is small, it does include a lot of people. So make sure you get into your safe shelter, interior room. If you have a basement, that would be the best place to go. Um, most likely not though. So interior room, inside uh, bathroom or closet, putting as many walls between you and the outside as possible is the safest place to be. So here's a look at that radar. And again, you can see this line uh, tracking east and along the line, you'll get some gusty winds out of it, but there's no other warnings at this time except for this tornado warning. So the concern is within this cell that there is some rotation uh, that has been spotted based on radar. So Katie tracking it to you at 807, the Woodlands 827, Conroe, Texas 831, Houston 852, and we're continuing to track it east here. Um, while watching this cell, the whole line itself tracking east, the cell itself may be tracking a little more to the south and east. And closer inspection, you can see Pinehurst right in this as well. The Woodlands, uh, you are in the clear at the moment, but it's tracking in your direction and it's moving fairly fast. And so you can see that the weather is going downhill very quickly. Here's another view as we take a look and just show you the radar itself. The rain is beginning to pick up here in Pinehurst, Conroe, Texas. You've had a few showers go through, but we're about to get smashed with this big line of thunderstorms. And Alex here, certainly that concern for severe weather as this tracks east, especially this area under the tornado warning.